Hello everyone, welcome back to KSM 3523 Statistics 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute or uh, what uh, how to compute um, correlation from with when you have different types of variable condition or variable types. So in this video, I'm going to show an overall uh, on um, correlation analysis from Pearson perspective, Spearman, point by serial and chi-square. Okay, correlation and association analysis. When do we actually use correlation? When we would like to examine relationship or association between two variables. So we always have to remember when you want to, when you have a question about relationship or association, when you have only two variables, you are pretty much going to test it or going to use correlation or association analysis. So this is going to be your statistical analysis approach when you have a question on relationship or association and also when you have only two variables. So these are the key important things that you have to know or you have to uh, remember when you are going into correlation analysis. So as we said that when you examine relationship or association between two variables, these variables will determine what type of test that you would like to or require to run because these variables that you use is dependent on the way it is being measured okay these two variables is actually the two information how is these two variable is being measured so the level of measurement of these variables are very very important so is it going to be measured is it being measured using ordinal approach or is it going is it used an interval scale or is it be used using a nominal scale so we need to know that so with these variable information we can actually determine what type of correlation analysis that we can run so these two variable information is crucial so based on these two variables we can actually run four different types of correlation analysis firstly is the Pearson correlation okay Pearson correlation so when do we run a Pearson correlation when you have two variables that are continuous in nature okay so these continuous in nature meaning these variables are measured using interval or a ratio level of measurement okay so example uh, motivation and job satisfaction so both of them are variables and both of them are being measured in a continuous um, continuous as a continuous variable okay so when you have both are continuous variable then you use the Pearson correlation approach so in the previous video I've showed you how to calculate this Pearson correlation R okay what happens when you are like to know about the correlation or relationship between a variable that is continuous and another variable is nominal so one and two here means it's not the first variable and the second variable it can be uh, vice versa so it can be the first norm variable could be a nominal the second can be a continuous so what type of analysis or what will be the example of condition where you have continuous and nominal variable let's say that you are interested to see is there any relationship between stu uh, gender and students academic uh, cgpa or motivation so motivation is a continuous variable so what is the other variable gender gender is a nominal variable because you categorize people into male or female so when you have one a nominal variable and the other one as a continuous variable so we should go for point by serial correlation so if you notice from continuous to continu uh, continuous and continuous variable we use Pearson correlation so when you have one continuous and the other variable is its nominal we choose point by serial correlation if you notice the formula to compute the r is also different so there is a subscript for point by serial so there is a subscript for r 
which is RPB. So the PB represent point by serial. If you notice the, the formula that we use is also different. Now on the third uh, type of correlation analysis is when you have both ordinal variable. So what is ordinal variable? Variable that has been ranked, that has a position, that is being ordered. Okay. So when you have two variables that is ordinal, let's say that um, we ask a, a first year and second year students to rank the most favorite subject from 1 to 10. So that means you have two type of people you have first year and the second year you give them same set of subjects maybe let's say that you give uh, five core subjects in psychology and you ask them to rate the most preferred the most liked to the least liked so you ask them to rank the five so you see the ranking for subjects by the first year and also by the last year student to see if there is any relationship between <coughs> students uh, preferred subject and the year that they are being uh, enrolled or being studied okay so in that case we use Spearman correlation again when you notice there is a s subscript in the r represent Spearman <coughs> and the formula is different from point by serial as well as for Pearson correlation so on the fourth data condition which is when you have both variables that are nominal let's say that you would like to examine if there is any relationship between gender and um, gender and academic uh, program okay so program is again a nominal variable so is there any relationship in academic program for example in uh, engineering medical and uh, engineering and medical versus gender so gender is a categorical variable education program academic program is also a nominal or categorical variable so when you have both categorical the of course the computation will become different so in this case we will be using chi-square that's for independence. So if they are independent to each other, meaning there is no relationship. If they are dependent, meaning there is a relationship in the selection of academic program between male and female. So basically, when you are determining the correlation or association analysis, firstly, you need to identify whether what is your research question, whether you would like to examine the relationship or association next you need to identify what type of variable that you have in your data is it nominal continuous ordinal both are ordinal both are continuous so you need to identify this information in order to proceed with your analysis if you notice for Pearson correlation point by serial Spearman and chi-square all has different way of computing the R and also the chi-square. So what do we do next? Remember, once we calculate our R, our correlation coefficient, what do we need to do? We actually have to transform it into a T-score. We always have to transform in order to make interpret to make comparison and make interpretation so what is actually we are doing we are testing the hypothesis the hypothesis is is there a relationship or is there no relationship we want to test that out so what do you need to do we have to convert our r into t so for point by serial spearman and pearson correlation the r that you get you have to convert it to t so the following is the formula r divided by the square root of 1 minus r square divided by n minus 2. So this is the t score that you get. So what do you do next with the t score? We compare it with the t critical. So where do you get the t critical from? From the table. So how do you find it from the table? You need to have the alpha value. You need to know the tail, whether you need to use one tail or two tail. When do you use two tail? When do you use one tail? When your hypothesis has no direction 
then you use two tail when your hypothesis has a direction especially when your null hypothesis has a direction then you use one tail so basically when it is not stated we go for two tail and the degrees of freedom for all three Pearson point by serial and Spearman is n minus 2 n is number of observations that you have so what do we do once you get the t from converting r to t which is called the t statistics we compare it to the t critical from the table so if our t statistics is greater than the t critical then we will reject the null what was our null there is no significant relationship between variable 1 and variable 2 so when the t statistic is greater meaning we reject the null what do we mean by reject the null when you say we reject meaning there is a significant relationship what happens if the t statistics is less than the t critical we say we fail to reject the null or we accept the null in other way meaning when you accept the null meaning we say there is no relationship okay so th that is for Spearman point by serial and Pearson correlation so for chi-square we are still looking for association okay when it involves categorical variable we call it as association not relationship so for association what do we do we use the chi-square that we computed using the formula and that chi-square we compare it to chi-square critical from the chi-square table all this why we have been using the t table now for when you have nominal or categorical variable we use the chi-square table so for chi-square table we use alpha 0.05 it can be also 0.01 and then for degrees of freedom there is a formula for it which is c minus 1 r minus 1 so c and r c is the column r is the row and we use the chi-square statistics to compare it to chi-square critical that we get from the table same with the t we make comparison if our chi-square statistic is greater than chi-square critical then we reject the null if it is lower we accept it so what um, not to worry about chi-square okay we will cover it as one topic um, in the following weeks so the idea is the take home message from here is when you're thinking about correlation analysis you first of all have to think what is your purpose so if your purpose is to examine relationship then you are moving on the right direction so when you're talking about relationship you have to understand how many variables do you have so I have two variables then the next question is what type of variables I have do I have continuous both continuous if I have one continuous and one nominal do I have one ordinal and the second one is also ordinal or both nominal so from there it determines what formula to be used and how do you actually interpret it so it is this is the overview so in the in the following videos I'm going to show you how to compute point by serial by hand and also Spearman correlation by hand hope this is clear thank you